2012 Hong Kong Pride Parade started at 3 p.m. today, attracting thousands of people. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to BNN News. I'm Vicky Fong. Thousands of people joined 2012 Hong Kong Pride Parade, marching from Victoria Park Causeway Bay to Charter Garden Center today. The sexual minorities called for equal rights and showed their disappointment on lawmakers' rejection this Wednesday. Phyllis Lam has more. This is the first year of Hong Kong LGBT Pride Parade. LGBT stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender. The annual parade is a chance for the LGBT group to be seen and heard. Um, and the other uh, uh, theme should be, uh, we are calling a e equality uh, legislation uh, in uh, employment. According to a survey by University of Hong Kong, less than 50% people will be opposed to legislation that will protect the LGBT community. But the motion is rejected this Wednesday, and the LGBT community shows great disappointment and discontent. Other communities also come to support. I think it's a basic human right to want to be with someone that you love um, and make that commitment. So I don't see it as any different than from a man or woman making that commitment to each other. But some tourists show their disagreement to the LGBT group. I People Power's Women Chen Zi Kun, who's openly gay, harshly criticized the opponent. However, Women Chen still has the hope for realization of LGBT equal rights. Organizers says 4,000 people take part in the parade this year, which is double compared with last year. Phyllis BNN News. This Wednesday, lawmakers just rejected a motion calling for public consultation on equal rights for people with different sexual orientations. The supporters thought the public consultation could lead to make laws that protect the sexual minorities from discrimination. But the opponents thought it was a moral issue and legislation couldn't solve the problem. This evening, we invite Dr. Day Wang from Hong Kong Baptist University to discuss about this issue. Good evening, Dr. Wang. What do you think about this year's Pride Parade? I think it's a success. Uh, looking at the number of participants, uh, it has been growing. And also, uh, I, I think the coming out of these celebrities uh, serve as a good model for the LGBT communities. And uh, it shows them that it's uh, possible to come out uh, in the public and they can be positive about their sexual identities. Okay, so what's your opinion about lawmakers' rejection of public consultation on LGBT rights law this Wednesday? I think um, these people are trying to say uh, they should still have the right to discriminate against other people. Supporting this uh, legislation is important. Uh, it's the first step to send a message to people that it's fine to be homosexual and you shouldn't be penalized for your sexual identity. And um, of course, this is only the first step. We still need to change the attitude of the society. We've got to show them that uh, there are other ways of life. For example, we do have same-sex couples. They create their own families. And we've got to look into uh, these alternative ways of life in order to really respect difference and diversity. OK, thank you, Dr. Wang. According to a survey by Chinese University of Hong Kong, over 90% university students accept LGBT individuals, and more than 60% support same-sex marriage. The young generations in Hong Kong show positive attitude to LGBT community. However, the legislation of LGBT equal rights still has a long way to go. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.